Hello, so today I'm going to be going over NAND NAND and NOR NOR implementation for AOI logic. Um, basically what that means is we're going to be using only NAND gates or only NOR gates to implement uh, AND, OR, and the inverter, uh, also known as NOT. So this little table here is a little cheat sheet for uh, each implementation of AND, OR, and the inverter using NANDs or NORs. I'm going to be going over how to derive these things in this video. So let's start with NAND NAND and let's start with the uh, NOT gate since this one will be used the most often. So um, the best way to play around with these things um, is basically to enter your inputs into your gate and just see what happens. But um, if you don't really like to do that and you would rather someone to tell you how to, um, this is how you would do it. So how you would do this is you would put, let's say, A, and we want the output uh, A0. So in order to achieve this, um, we have to think about how the NAND gate works. So if we do A and we put that into the NAND gate and we do another A, another way to draw this is like this. Uh, and that would give us a knot. The reason why it's doing this is because if we draw it this way instead, a, a, and get this, um, what happens is we and our two inputs first, and then we knot them. So what we would be getting is a, a, and then knotting them, which is just equal to a knot. So let's draw this out here. And let's do the AND now. So when we want an AND, we want something like A, B. So we, we expect A and B to go in separately, and we expect them to end up like this. But um, classically, when we just enter them into an AND like this, we end up with A, B, not like that. So how would we get rid of this? So the idea is that we would want to basically put the bar over the top like this. But how would we achieve that? So the idea is that we would use this gate and then an inverter to achieve this. So we just went over how to do an inverter. So let's do that. And now, so you see we have a, b knotted here and a, b knotted here. And then we end up with something that looks like this. And basically that would simplify to this, which also simplifies to a, b. So that's our derivation of the AND gate. So now let's do the OR gate. And if you haven't caught on the pattern by now, um, the OR gate would be something like A, B. And uh, we want to achieve that by basically inverting first before we put it into the AND gate. So let's do that. So let's try to invert our A. And let's invert our B. And now let's put them into an AND gate. So let's draw out our signals so that can be seen easily. And now when we put those into the NAND gate, we basically get A naught, B naught, and then with a knot over the top. And when we use the Morgans to simplify this, uh, we get something that looks like a with the double bar, B with the double bar, and this cancels out and we just get A plus B. So that's our derivation for uh, not and an or for NAND NAND. So now let's do our derivation of gates for NOR NOR. Um, and let's start with the inverter like we did last time. 
Um, the same concept applies here. What we're going to do is we're basically just going to invert the same signal. And that will uh, yield us with something that looks like a plus a naught, which just equals to a naught. So now let's do R and. And uh, like last time, um, we instead of instead of putting the signals into the NAND and then inverting them, we're just going to do the opposite. Um, so this is a good way to remember it. Um, to get the signal that you're looking for with uh, this, so the OR, but with a NOR, you're going to Put it into the nor first then invert and with the nand you're going to put it into the the nand first and then invert so to get the opposite signal what you would do is you would invert first and then put it through the gate that you're looking for so let's do that so nor and through these signals we get a naught and B naught, and now we ignore them one more time, and this will yield us with something that looks like A naught plus B naught with a bar over the top, and then when we use the Morgans, we simplify to something that looks like this, which is just equal to AB. And now, as you guessed, we're going to do our OR, and like I said earlier, what you're going to do is you're going to put it through the gate first and then invert. So let's do that. So this will give us. And in order to get A plus B, we would basically just need a bar over the top like that. So that's how we that's why we use the inverter. And we invert that signal and now we get a plus b with two bars over the top, which is equal to a plus b, which is our or. And that is the uh, and, or, and not implementations for nor nor.